Android version 4.4 KitKat is out and available, but only if you've got a Nexus 5. If you want to get it on, say, a Nexus 4, you're going to have to wait. Or you're going to have to know what to do to flash it yourself. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now. These are the steps that you need to take to flash Android 4.4 KitKat onto your Nexus 4 or other Android. So before we get started, this video assumes a few things. Number one, you're assuming the risk. Anytime you root or do anything with ROMs, you run the risk of potentially breaking your device. Follow the instructions and you shouldn't, but if you do, that's the risk you're taking. Next, you need to be unlocked and you need to have a custom recovery ROM available either to flash or to put on your device. We're going to assume that you've already done both, unlocked it and have a custom recovery ROM on your device. In fact, a note about custom recovery ROMs. For KitKat, at least right now, if you're using TWRP, it's not going to work. Next, you need two packages. First is the KitKat version for your device. I'm going to show you for the Nexus 4 with the version that was compiled from AOSP by the Paranoid Android team. Thank you, big thumbs up for those guys. Next, if you want to use any of the Google Apps, you're going to need the Google Apps or GAPS or G Apps package. Right now, there's only one that I know of, also from the Paranoid Android guys. So go ahead and gather all of those. There are links to where you can get those for a select number of devices over at the article on pocketnow.com. So enough talking, let's go ahead and get this thing booted into recovery mode and start flashing some files. On the Nexus 4 to boot up into recovery mode, the device right now is turned off. You hold down the volume down button and you push the power button at the same time. Doing so is going to make it vibrate. Let go and there you go. We're now at our, uh, our fast boot menu. We want to go into recovery mode, so just up and down and then power button to select. It's going to reboot now into recovery. This is gonna take just a second. At this point, what you're going to want to do is wipe everything. Wipe all user data. That doesn't take as long as you might think that it should, but once it's done, it's done. You will want to do this. You are going from one version of Android to another. That's going to erase all of your data, by the way. If you wanted to have a backup, you should have done that before. But hopefully you're watching this video before you're doing the steps by yourself. Next, we're going to install a zip. This is the touch version of the ROM. By the way, this is 6.0.4.3 of Clockward Recovery. Lower versions of that do not work. You will want to make sure you have the latest version or uh, experience pain and suffering like I did. Anyway, so we want to install zip from SD card. We're going to choose a zip. In my case, I downloaded it, so I'm going to go into user zero, that is me. And you may or may not have that depending on where you downloaded it. So just go to wherever you did download it. In this case, I am going to flash the Paranoid Android AOSP for Mako. Download, or rather flash that. Doesn't take very long to do. As you can see down here, we're installing the update. Your version is going to be named a little bit differently. Just keep that in mind. But the nice thing is the steps are exactly the same once you've got your device rooted and unlocked and recovery ROM installed. All you gotta do is flash it, you're good to go. Next up is going to be the G Apps package. So we're going to choose zip from SD, again going to zero, I put it in download. From here, this is the Paranoid Android G Apps Mini. Go ahead and install that. Doesn't take very long. A Little bit of ASCII art there. Copying files. And I'm gonna go one step further after this is done. I'm going to install the Super Sue stuff so I'll still have root after I'm all done with this process. This takes just a minute. Installation is now complete. Let's choose a, another zip. We are going to go back here, back to download, and back to Super Sue. Grab that, install it. Very quick, very easy. We're done. Go back and we are going to restart. Once it does this, this boot is going to take a little bit of time. So do not worry about it being caught in a boot loop or anything just yet. It is going to take sometimes two, three, four, maybe even five minutes. So just be patient with it. This of course is the very, very old style boot animation. 
It's not Paranoid Android, it's not CyanogenMod, it's not even the version that you get on the Nexus 5. It's the old AOSP boot animation. If you see that, don't worry, that's the right thing that you want to see from here. I'm not going to have you sit through here for the next five minutes while it boots. I'm just going to let you know it's going to take a little bit of time. And through the magic that is video, we're going to jump ahead in the process. Once that's all done, we're met with the welcome and it's selected United States English for me. I'll choose that to continue. I don't have my SIM card in here, so we're just going to go ahead and skip over that. I do, however, have a Wi-Fi network in range, which I'm going to need if I don't have a SIM. I'll choose that and then put my password in off camera. Google location, we'll set it in there. We'll go ahead and put in here Joe Levi, just like that. We'll go next. Google services, and at that point, we are now set up and we are ready to go. Let's choose the launcher, launcher, and always, launcher, always. And from here, this is now the KitKat experience. So, okay, okay, if you've seen any of the, uh, the Nexus 5 videos, you'll know this is exactly what you're gonna get. Come in here and let's throw just something on the other page, uh, movie studio, for example. So you can see now I've got another page just like that. Now, swiping over here to the side, I'm not pulling up my Google now. So we've got to figure out why it's doing that, but let's find out and see what we can do. Okay, Google, how tall is the Empire State Building? The Empire State Building is 1,454 feet tall. That's it. We now have KitKat. If we want to come in and look at settings, we can view all the way down here. It is, in fact, Android 4.4. It is AOSP on Mako. There you go. And there you have it. If you've done everything properly, you now have a working copy of Android 4.4 KitKat running on your Android-powered device, and you didn't even have to buy a new phone or wait for official ROMs or anything like that. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, give the video a thumbs up and why not follow us on social networks? My favorite, of course, is Twitter. We're at PocketNow. I'm Joe Levi, or at Joe Levi on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because we've got a lot more fun stuff coming your way.